Somebody said, oh, well, we, we can't ask Nova about her record deal. Nova never goes live. I, Nova's watching this live stream in the house somewhere right now. If, if she wants to come in and give you guys her answer on the record label shit, uh, it's an open invite. We'll see if she takes it. I, uh, I, I definitely wouldn't count on it. I think that she's been... I don't know what the fuck she's been doing. She's either been playing video games in the other room... And if she was playing video games in the other room, she's been wearing her VR headset, which means she's going to have a big red ring around her fucking face, which means she's not going to want to come on live. Or she's been either like, maybe she's cooking dinner or... Anytime Nova has any time to herself, she just cleans shit. She's a clean freak. She fucking cleans. So she might be cleaning right now and she might be like sweaty and her hair's all fucked up and she's not going to want to come on here. But... If she enters the room, I'll ask her if she wants to give you guys her uh, her recount of record label shit. Uh, what's up, dude? Are you gonna tell everybody? You want wow. to, you're, you're not going to tell everybody about how you're, uh, um... I was cooking dinner. I just missed you. Tell everybody about how you're Illuminati record label pawn. Oh, yeah. Well, I signed the deal, like, ten years ago. What deal? With the devil? At the record label? Yeah. Shut well, the they're fuck. They're not a devil. Okay, I'm still signed because they spent a lot of money on me, and I feel like it's only fair to let them get their money back. But now they have the money back, so... So what now? I, I, don't, I don't know what's next. What do you want to do next? I want to go be me by myself over here. <laughs> well, there you go. So. But I am still with them, sort of. But just, just doing my due no, diligence. No, no, no. You're, like, you're with... You're with kind, on paper, but in my spirit. No, 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 no. You're with... Uh, I don't want to say people's names because... That's what, I, you're with the... the your friends, but you're not with fucking death no. jam or whatever the fuck that no, was. No, I'm still paying back my friends though because they fucking put money in. Well, we were talking about record labels, and I think that sort of when people think record labels, they think about back when you were signed to Def Jam. Yeah, but Def Jam. Tell them what happened at Def Jam. Hold on, let me just end this by saying Def Jam stuck my friends with the bills. They didn't pay for stuff. That's a good way to say it. When so, Jeff Jam was saying that, like, oh, we'll pay for this, we'll pay for this, we'll pay for this, they didn't pay for that, and then they stuck my friends with the bill. Even though all the decisions were made by Jeff Jam, I signed away my right to make any decisions about how I spend my money. And then now, all of my, all the money I make from albums that aren't physical sales go to pay back that debt from Jeff Jam deciding what to do with... That her, her friends now are, are, have, the, have bill. the bill. So... I could probably have just been like, hey... I'm out, but, like, I just feel like that person believed in me at some point, and, like, I don't want to just, like, turn my back on someone who believed in me to the point where they put down, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars. So, I'm working on just recouping it. But I think, I think I'm almost there. So, everyone, you go see, listen to some Nova Rockefeller tonight and be like, we're doing this to say fuck the man, you know? You see, like, you see what I mean? You see how convoluted, like... Signing a record deal is—it's it's like a scam. How, how long ago was that? Twelve years ago? Ten years ago. Ten years ago, signed a deal ten years ago with Island Def Jam. Bye, babe. Bye, babe. Is no longer signed to Island Def Jam, but Nova's team, her manager and her agent and all those people that existed outside of Island Def Jam, Island Def Jam gave all of those people the bill for everything that Island Def Jam did for Nova even though they ultimately ended up doing nothing. Um, so now, like, Nova's not signed to Island Def Jam, but she's, like, kind of loosely locked into her friends. Out of the goodness of her heart, I might add, she could fucking walk away at any point in time. She could say, you know, fuck you guys, I'm out. But those people are her friends, and she feels bad that they got stuck with the bill from Def Jam, so she's now honoring her friendship with those people. Um, and, and helping them pay back the bill to Island Def Jam. That's 10 years later. 10 fucking years later. Still dealing with that mess. How fucked up is that? So, there you go. 
And it's it's not like, you know what I mean? That, that That's the other thing too. It's not like, uh, it's not even like record labels are bad and they're evil and fuck. The, I mean, it's, it's always fuck a record label. But that's the way that these things are designed. They're, they're not like a fucking safe haven for artists where they're like, Oh, here, come over here, artists. We're going to make you famous. They're a fucking money-making machine. That, and, and, and the way that they can maximize their profits, unfortunately, is taking advantage of, of people who have dreams and exploiting them. That's really what the fuck it is. So, um, so yeah, fucking crazy, dude. So, like, a lot of people, like, don't realize. A lot of people are, like, asking, like, what do you mean? Like, is it like a loan or like what's going on? So here, I'll give you guys just the most basic breakdown ever, okay? You sign with Universal, all right? Universal says, uh, okay, um, we'll take you on. We'll take your album. Uh, we're going to split the profits 50-50. And they own your likeness and your name and your image. And it literally says like throughout the world and the universe, like they own the rights to your image and your music. 50% of your masters everywhere, no matter what. So they'll say, okay, cool. We'll split it 50, 50. We'll split the profits 50, 50. And then they're like, what do you need? Okay. You need to get this album, uh, uh, recorded, mixed and mastered. So what's that cost? $250,000 with the best producers in the world. Cool. That's $250,000. How many fucking videos are you going to need for this thing? Four. Okay. That's another $250,000. That's, that's 500 grand. Um, uh, you know, you're gonna need merchandise and we're gonna have a radio campaign and the radio campaign costs this much money and the merch is gonna cost this much money and blah, 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 blah. All of a sudden the record label is, you know, provided a million dollars worth of services to you. And depending on how badly they want you to sign with them, they might, they, they might give you like a fucking, like a signing bonus or something of like a million dollars. So you've taken $2 million from this record label, right? You drop the album Let's say that the album makes $500,000, okay? You owe $2 million. Your album that you just dropped made $500,000, but you signed a deal that says you're only getting half of that $500,000. And you don't start getting half of your $500,000 until that $2 million debt is paid off. So if your album makes $500,000, your half, which is two hundred and fifty dollars goes back towards paying that $2 million debt. You know how many fucking albums you have to drop? How much merch you have to sell? How many tickets you have to sell to fucking shows to pay back the fucking $2 million that you are in debt until, until you start making money for yourself and start getting money put back into your pocket? Only once that debt's clear do you start seeing your 50% of profit. Like that's the, that's the basic model for this shit. And some places lock you in for a year and some places lock you in for five years and some places lock you in for a fucking lifetime. Sometimes people lock you in for 10 fucking years. You know what I mean? It, the whole thing is a fucking scam. So, um, anyways, we got really deep into the record label shit tonight, but, um, you know, it's interesting shit and you guys are always asking me about it. So fucking wild. <laughs>